Welcome to Trips Art Class. Today we're going to be drawing a Viking, like a cartoon looking Viking. So to go ahead and begin with that, let's go ahead and get straight in and we're going to go ahead and start to sketch the head of the Viking. We're going to kind of do our classic bean and that's the idea of kind of sketching almost like a bean shape. Notice here I'm keeping my pencil very my pencil work very 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 light. To get the exact shape I want. And I want this part to come out a little bit more. Like that, because I want this Viking to be a little bit on the heavier side. I'll give him kind of a rounder face. You kind of notice what I just did was I cleaned up some of my lines with my eraser. Okay, that's kind of the shape I want. Maybe you can stretch it out a little bit more like that. Now, how I'm drawing here digitally on my iPad Pro using my favorite program, Procreate, is the same way I draw traditionally. I'm going to go ahead and put in some guidelines here. This is kind of where the eyes will be. So this is just a guideline. We'll go ahead and put in some eyes. Maybe the eyes will be right here. I could probably zoom in for this so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. A lot of you guys are watching on the tube of the U. The tube of the U. YouTube. Now notice here, I'm not really stressing out about my lines too much because this is kind of the preliminary sketch. So nothing has to be perfect yet. <laughs> no, we don't we don't want our artwork to be perfect because that that just sucks sucks the life out of it. Go, kind of drawn the mouth. More of an angry, aggressive mouth here. And when we're doing sketching like this, with this style of cartoony sketching, it's really all about lines. When we when we paint, it's all about value. But when we're when we're sketching like this, it's it's really all about lines. So we're just really paying attention to those lines. Okay, let's go ahead and put in an ear. Make a pretty simple ear there. And I'm going to move this up here so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. Let's go ahead and start to sketch out the body. So the body of this guy is just going to be kind of like a big teardrop. Well, not really a teardrop, but a giant oval. You can see how lightly I'm sketching with my pencil here. Hopefully you're doing the same in my actual physical art classes that I teach in high school. I have to spend probably the whole first quarter teaching students just how to draw lightly. Everyone just wants to make these super dark lines, but they don't really understand how to sketch. So I spend a, a lot of the 
time just really getting them to hold their pencil differently so they can actually learn how to sketch. Okay, so that will be his um, stomach and chest area. Let's go ahead and put a big circle right here. And when you draw circles, man, sometimes when I teach, I'll say, we're going to draw a circle, and half the class is like, oh, no, not a circle. You get so stressed out about drawing a circle. Every once in a while, I'll have a student and will say, hey, um, Trip, can I um, can I use like a Coke can or something like that to draw my circle? They want to like trace a circle, and it's like, no, absolutely not. We, we circles not impossible. We just sketch it, just sketch it out, just like I'm doing here. Now, if you try to do it on one shot, you know it might be hard to do. But that's why we sketch instead of instead of draw. I know those words are synonymous in a lot of ways, but it's good to make a distinction between the two techniques. Okay, let's go ahead and draw the next hand. Real simple curve up. And might have made that a little bit too long. And let's work on the feet. Now he's going to have one of those. Um, it's not a dress, but it's like a um, part of his armor. And as you can see here, I'm what I like to call sculpting with pencil. Just as we would sculpt with clay, you just mold it so how you want it to be. We do the same thing with pencil. Okay. One thing that's great about digital Oops, let me change that. Is that you can move things around, but you kind of have to because I'm zooming in here so you guys can see. Where the advantage of traditional, the whole entire time, your peripheral vision can see all of the drawing. But when you're drawing digitally, unless if you have a very huge drawing tablet, you're always kind of zooming in. So it's neat that we can move things around. Okay, here, let's go ahead and sketch out a leg. Another leg right here. Now, another way to think about drawing is not to think of it that you're drawing legs. Sometimes I'll have students that say, you know, I can't really draw legs, I can't draw hands. Well, don't draw legs, don't draw hands, just draw lines. We can all draw lines. So here's some lines here. We can all draw lines, lines are easy. And drawing is just a series of lines when you're drawing with this style, when you're sketching. You just focus on each little line. We're not drawing a Viking, we're drawing a, a collection of lines. If you think of it that way, it makes it, makes it possible. Here I go, back into the, the molding process here. 
molding my my clay, my my pencil to be exactly how I want it to be. And yours might look different. Mine's not the right way. Whatever you however you want yours to be. Now, as I zoom out here, this is one of those disadvantages you have when you draw digitally. I've kind of noticed that proportionately, this shield is way too small. I mean, this this shield would be kind of be a joke. So I'm going to make this shield a lot more protective. And that's part of the critique process that we apply when we sketch. Your drawing is not a closed book. As soon as you draw something, you're not done. We're going to go back and, and add two things. Okay, let's go ahead and move on here to the, the hand and the sword. So what we're going to do here is just draw a line. That's, that's all we do in drawing. We just draw lines. Sometimes I'll say I'll have students say to me, you know, Trip, I can't I can't draw. I say, can you draw a line? And they go, yeah, I can draw a line. I go, can you draw a curved line? And they go, yeah, I can draw a curved line. You can draw. Now, if you want to, you can add a little bit of more, you know, 3D depth to the sword just by kind of going like that. You don't have to. It's kind of more of a simplistic drawing, so we'll get rid of that. And he's a Viking, so a Viking is going to have the stereotypical, um, probably kind of longer hair and Viking hat. Trying to give him some massive sideburns. Well, well, we'll maybe give him a beard. And when you're drawing hair, always remember, here's the skull. The hair is always going to come off the skull. Hair has like volume, it has depth to it. So you're always gonna have to go back and erase that sketch line over the skull. Okay, let's move on here to the beard. Let's go ahead and maybe start with a gnarly a Viking mustache. Okay, then here where the sideburns would normally come, we'll have that kind of go into the mustache. And then we get to draw the beard. The wild beard. This is not a nicely trimmed beard. It's a wild Viking beard. This is not GQ Viking. This is wild 
Viking. Let's go ahead and finish this part of the mouth. There we go. So, oh, I like I like how he's coming. I like how he's coming out here. So you can, he's looking cool. Go ahead and erase my guidelines. It's like cleaning up the pencils, what they call it sometimes, cleaning up the pencil work. Now you can use um, this, this with these little details right here might be a good time to use that eraser on the tip of your pencil or the end of your pencil, I'm sorry. I like to save that eraser just for small details like this. And then anything big, I obviously use my hand eraser for. Okay, now, like I said, we need a stereotypical Viking hat, which I don't even believe they historically wore, but it's cartoon. We're going to stick with the silliness of cartoons. Always makes me ponder when people critique cartoons. That's like, you know, it's a cartoon, right? They're like, well, that's not how it is in real life. I'm like, I know, it's a cartoon. Like when people try to critique Snoopy, they're like, well, Snoopy's standing on two legs here and four legs here. I know it. It's a cartoon. Chill. Okay, let's give this guy some gnarly horns. Whoa. Those are gnarly horns. Now, if you want it to look a little bit more cartoony, kind of round off the edges of the horns. Sharp edges often look more violent. We don't want our Viking to be a super violent Viking. This is, like I said, maybe a cute, silly, cartoony Viking. Okay. So let's go ahead and move in, add some detail. Maybe we'll put a circle here. Kind of show the construction of the uh, Viking helmets. Maybe there'll be a little line there to show his his um, eyes kind of moving together in anger. Let's go ahead and work on the shirt design. Maybe there's a big metal piece right here. that hooks the shirt together or keeps those garments organized. And kind of maybe have it come together right here. Maybe like that. Erase this line first. And maybe this is where it kind of comes together. And here I can even kind of erase this a little bit, erase these lines and kind of make them a little little more less prominent okay 
And his shield, we can go ahead and maybe sketch out another little circle here. And we can maybe shade in this area. We can shade in this area too. Oh, let's add a glove. Our Viking needs a glove. So maybe like that. And we already have the thumb, so let's go ahead and add, erase this. We'll add some fingers. This will be easy. We'll just put a finger here. Okay. A finger here. And a finger there. And we can color that in as well. And maybe this area. And there's our, our light sketch for our Viking. So this is a fun part. This is the part where you probably want to maybe put on some music. I'm going to lower the opacity here. So you can, you can do that by lightly erasing with your eraser. Just very, very, very softly go over your lines. And this is the part where you can really focus on your line work. So this is this is pretty much tracing with a focus on your line work. Certain areas are going to be lighter. Certain area, areas are going to be darker and heavier and lighter. This is where you really might want to turn your sketchbook on your desk. Have a nice, wide, clean desk. And find some good music that's going to relax you. So it's really the inking process, but I'm just inking in pencil instead of ink pen, which is which is fun. What's neat about this too is you still kind of keep that sketchy style. Uh, 
that you often lose when you ink. Now here, the circle is already sketched out, so I don't need to mold it. I just follow my, my original lines. Now, I could trace this and have a perfect circle, but I feel like I'll lose some of that um, some of that um, personal touch if I do that. And it will look more like a computer drawing than a hand-drawn sketch. And I pers personally like the style of something that looks like it's been sketched by hands. So much of what we see today is vectorized and Adobe Illustrator and it looks perfect. And we lose that personal touch that comes with a real human holding a pencil. In this case, it's a it's an Apple pencil, but you know, it, it still works similar to a regular wooden pencil. Also, when you make your lines, like I could go real slow, but try to get it in a nice long pencil stroke. Of course, I can try that here and hit or miss. So in some cases, I'm going to really try to get those lines right. But in smaller, uh, shorter lines like that, I can just really make it with once one confident stroke since this line right here is one of the main out um, outlining lines contour lines I really want to have a little bit more weight to 
to it. So I went over that line twice. Now, if you are drawing with a pencil, which most of you are, you need to be very, very careful as you work on your paper. If you're left-handed, you probably want to work from this side, top right, to the bottom left. If you're right-handed like me, you're probably going to want to work from the top left down to the bottom right. And the reason why you want to do this is so that the pencil and the paper does not smear. I've seen some amazing works of art ruined with that palm smearing hours of artwork. Now, when you do want to make lines darker, you don't really have to press harder. But if you just go over that line, it's going to get it's going to get thicker and then darker. In my art classes, I sometimes do the pencil, I mean, I'm sorry, the paper indention test where I'll look at the back of a student's paper and if they have <laughs> ripped through to the other side they are pressing way too hard or even if they've indented After a drawing like this, if your hand's super, super sore, it's likely that you are drawing way too hard. You definitely want to save your wrist. Don't destroy it on a simple sketch. <laughs> If you need to, you can always race down certain areas if you kind of messed up like I just did. Let's 
go ahead and see what our drawing is looking like. I skipped one line here, so let's make sure we add it. So now I'm going to go back and do a little technique that's neat for cartoons, and it's just going over the, the lines that are the outline lines, kind of the contour lines here. I'm not making them darker, but I'm making them thicker. And just a little technique to add a little bit more cartoony feel and style to your um, cartoony illustrations. Now obviously, obviously this is not realism. You wouldn't be doing this if you were trying to sketch a realistic portrait. but it does add a little bit to cartoons. If you're a fan of the new style of Mickey Mouse cartoons, not the original, the newer ones, which honestly I was not a fan of at first, but now I absolutely love Um, you'll, you'll notice that the characters have very, very thick outlines. Okay, now what I could do if I wanted to is maybe add in a little bit of detail to the beard. And there's so much more I could add, you know, I could fully shade this, but we're just doing a simple sketch here, so we're going to put in some lines here. Oops. Let me get my paper straight. <laughs> Kind of ground him a little bit here. And actually, we're going to break the rules a little bit. We'll just do some good old fashioned shading here.
Okay. And there's our Viking drawing for today. So hopefully you enjoyed sketching this one out. So we're not going to color this one. We're just going to keep it a simple sketch there that you can do in your sketchbook. Um, but there it is. Hopefully you had a good time. Share your artwork with other people. If you know me, you can always email me your artwork or you can uh, message it to me and I can share it on my social media if you want me to. Um, but I would love to see how your guys' Vikings turned out. They all can be a little bit different. So if you want to color, color your Viking, go ahead and do that as well. It might look really awesome with some color pencils or even just to continue on to do some more pencil shading might be great as well. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe. That would be excellent. And I'll catch you next time on Trips Art Class.